In this problem, we're told the maximum gauge pressure in a hydraulic lift is 17 ATM. What is the largest vehicle in kilograms it can lift if the diameter of the output line is 22.5 centimeters? So how do we go about solving this problem? So in order to solve this problem, you should know that pressure is equal to force over area. And you'll see why we use this formula in a second. But let's write down what we're given first before we actually attempt it so you can see how the variables fit in. So we're given that the maximum pressure, right? So pressure is equal to 17 ATM, okay? Right? And so we also know that we're trying to find the largest vehicle in kilograms. So we're solving for some mass, right? So mass equals question mark. And then we know the diameter is going to be 22.5 centimeters. And so what we're going to want to do is go ahead and use these to solve, right? So we're trying to solve for M, but how do we convert one of these variables into M? So what you should know in this case is it's going to be lifting something up, right? So we're lifting um, something up and the force it's going to have to overcome is gravity, right? So we know the force in this case is just equal to mg since that's the force it's trying to overcome. So it's really um, uh, the pressure is going to be equal to mass times gravity or the weight force over area, right? And so if we're trying to solve for m, what we can do is manipulate this uh, equation, right, by multiplying both sides by a, and then you'll get mg is equal to area times pressure, and then you can divide by g. So essentially, the mass in this case is equal to the area times the pressure over g, right? So let's just go ahead and start plugging stuff in. So on the bottom, right, on the bottom, g is just going to be 9.8 meters per second squared. So we know that. And then what about the top? So the area... Well, think about it. Uh, this is going to be a circle, right? Our hydraulic lift is a circle, meaning the area of it, right? We know the area of a circle is pi r squared, right? So area equals pi r squared, right? So since it's pi r squared, what we're going to want to have to do is uh, solve for the area, right? So it's going to be equal to pi. We know this is the radius, right? Or this is the diameter, so we need half of it, right? So half of it is just going to be 11. 0.25 right centimeters because we just divide it by two because the radius or diameter equals 2r you should just know that but yeah so it's going to be 11.25 centimeters but we need this to be in meters because notice how this is in uh this is in meters so um we know there's 100 centimeters per meter so we can just divide it by 100 so essentially it's just going to become 0.1125 uh, meters right so we're just squaring this so 0.1125 five meters squared so this is the area so now we have the area so it's just going to be pi multiplied by 0.1125 uh, meters squared cool so now we've got that and now we need to convert uh so we're given the pressure but it's in this unit right atm and we want to convert it into uh, what we want to do is make sure it's in newton meters squared okay so we have to convert from this right this unit to uh newton meters squared because it won't cancel out if we don't do that so there's a conversion which you need uh, which you need to know right so one atm is equal to 1.013 times 10 to the 5 newton uh over meter squared right so this is the conversion so if we have 17 a uh, atm right 17 atm what we can do is just one atm is equal to this right here right so 1.013 times 10 to the 5 newton meter squared and notice if we just multiply by it these cancel so really, you just want to do 17 times that, right? So we can just write 17 ATM times 1.013 times 10 to the 5 Newton meters squared. And then this is over 1 ATM, right? Because you realize these are going to cancel, right? So if you go ahead and do all this, I forgot to write square right here, sorry. Keep in mind, I, we're just writing the area, right? So pi r squared, I didn't carry over the 2, right? Sorry about that. But essentially, it's just squared. So you just want to do pi times 0 0.11, uh, 1125, and then multiply by 17 times this to convert it into newton meter squared, and then divide by 9.8, right? So when you go ahead and do this, uh, you're going to get about 6,990 kilograms, right? So this is just going to be about your answer. But yeah, so 6,990 kilograms, that's going to be this. And so this is going to be... Uh, the maximum amount of mass that it's going to be able to lift, right, of this car. So, uh, yeah, so this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.